Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in the last couple of tutorials, you know, we have learned about the time function, local time function, GM time function, and also, you know, how to print that uh, time in some, you know, user readable format using the ASC time and also, you know, C time function. But, you know, that format were you know predefined we can't change that format but here in this tutorial i'm gonna teach you one function which is called strf time which stands for uh, format the time to string will allow you to format the time and date in whatever the format you want so first i'm gonna teach you the syntax and then how we can use this function so the function name is uh, strf time and as a parameter so here we need to pass the address of a character array to store the formatted output into string and next this specifies the maximum length of characters that can present in that formatted string and then here we need to specify the format so to format the date and time a lot of format specifiers are available or format commands are available so I have written some of the format commands here you can see percentage uh, A which is for you know full weekday name percentage B for full month name and etc uh, etc et so there are a bunch of format uh, commands all these format strings are available so I want you guys to have a look at them by you know googling it okay the next thing is you know the time so here we need to pass the address of the you know uh, structure of type tm so this strf time function is going to return the number of characters stored in the string here pointed or it's going to return zero if um, there was any error you know while uh, formatting the date and time to string and also you know this uh, structure tm can be obtained by calling the local time function or the gm time function if you want the local time then uh, you can call the local time function and pass it here as an argument so if you want the um, green it mean time then uh, then you need to use the gm time function and uh, pass it here as an argument so now we're gonna see you know how we can use this strf time function and format the date and time so first uh, I'm gonna create a pointer of structure TM and let me call it as PTR and next I'm gonna create a variable of type uh, time underscore T and let me call it as T and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create a character array to store the you know formatted uh, time and date and uh, let me define a size of uh, 100 bytes and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get the current calendar time of the system that's why it's gonna be t equal to time function and we're gonna pass a null value and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get the local time and we're gonna store that uh, address returned in this uh, pt pointer so here uh, you know if you guys want the local time then you need to use this local time function so if you guys want you know the UTC or you know green with mean time then you guys need to use a GM time function here as a parameter we need to pass the address of a variable of type time underscore t and the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna use the strf time function so it's gonna be strf time and first we want to store the formatted date and time in this str character array that's why i'm gonna pass this str here and next we need to specify what can be the maximum length of that formatted string so here we have the size of 100 bytes which is the you know length of this um, str array so i'm gonna specify that here 100 and next we need to write the format so in in which format we want the date and time this is similar to formatting the string in uh, the printf function so here i'm gonna write it is now percentage i you can see here you know which uh, returns the hour in uh, uh, 1 to 12 next uh, i'm gonna write the percentage p small p uh, you know which is gonna returns the local is equivalent of am or pm so it's gonna be uh, 
the time hour then the am or the pm and next i'm gonna refer percentage m capital m so it's gonna return the minute as a decimal 0 to 59 and i'm gonna say minutes and then let's say seconds for that we're gonna use percentage s and i'm gonna say seconds and then I'm gonna add a new line and I'm gonna get the time zone so and I'm gonna say time zone is percentage Z and the last thing that we need to do is we need to pass this PTR pointer here control V so now when this function successfully executes it's gonna store the date and time formatted in this format to this str character array so the formatted date and time will be present in this str array we can print that using the put as function so it's going to be put as and str so i'm going to save this one okay let's check everything is right okay okay the format percentage i p m okay s so here s should be capital so uh, that's the mistake that i have made okay now i'm gonna save this one execute compile and run so now you can see here so it's now 12 pm 49 minutes and 15 seconds and also the time zone is india standard time so there are a bunch of format specifiers or this uh, format commands are available to use with this strftime function and I have written only some of them here so you can refer the manual or you can search it in the google to get all the you know format specifiers this is it guys thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and uh, I see you in the next tutorial